I know I've already started streaming. Listen to me. Katie Rolster, if they were in that last game against RNG, would have won, and LCK would have won Rift Rivals. They did not lose a single game this year internationally. They fucking shat on IG. I don't know why they played Freaker, because if, also, Kongju should never have lost that match against Rogue Warriors. What? I don't know who chooses. Basically, they don't believe in Katie Rolster, even though they're the best team in the region. Tell me I'm wrong, though. Who is the best in the region, then? Okay, but who is the best in their region? Uh, Griffin, if, if I remember correctly... Who did they lose to? Who is the, who's the people who um, they lost to? 2-0, in fact. What team? They be got beaten by KT Rolster. It's almost like KT Rolster is the best team in the world. You can't even argue. And that's the beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm streaming. Everyone can hear me flaming the shit out of Connor. That is world famous Caster Rook. Are you Logar? Who's Logar Aurelian? Is that you? Wait, who's Logar Aurelian? It is. Okay. Well, you've been on Twitch since 2013. That's a long time. Uh, right. Um, where do I where do I stream? Where, where, where's the thing I can join? No, no, no. The game. I've been supposed to. Um, if they're in lobby, then they can. If you're in lobby, there might not be enough uh, spec spaces, honestly. Okay, right, sweet. Ask them to invite me. Uh, Rook, R, triple O, C. Oh, thanks, Dad. Um, I'm going to turn that on a second. I'm, gonna do, I'm on the stream right now. I'm doing stream stuff. Okay, can you close the door when you're done, please, Dad? Thank you. All right, sweet. Um, you had me as a friend, did you? Let's see. Uh, what's your name so I can add you back? No, just a quick. You mean you mean analyst? You mean analyst? What? I haven't gotten your friend request yet. Are you sure you sent it right? What's your name? I'll add you. Yeah, perfect. Logar already. And who's that? That's um. Yeah, I thought so. I was gonna say. Uh, right. Uh, invite me. Invite me. Do you want to join my club, Crazy Boys? Oh wait, I keep on forgetting you don't like anime. Rook triple. I need to add Jamie. I'm online. Uh, do you want me to restart? All right, sweet. Wait, what, what, what did you do, sir? Oh, that's fine. Uh...
Um, you can't hear anything on the stream. Can you hear me? Can you hear me on stream? Um, oh yeah, that's my new keyboard. Uh, I need to, wait, uh, am I? Can you speak please? Uh. Oh, you're not even being picked up. Oh geez. Um, properties. I'm supposed to be picking up the right one. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's why. There we go. Can you speak? Hello. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I need to turn myself up. So just give me a second to turn myself up on stream. Uh, you guys will need to turn me down. Oh, whoa. Uh, I, need, I need to actually turn myself up still. Uh, sound settings. Oh, no, it's not even sound settings. Sorry, I just, you know, Windows 10. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was... Am I a bit loud for you guys now? Yeah, so yeah. yeah exactly. Ready. You need to turn me down. Is that the real Ollie Rook Olsen? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, speak now. Oh. Okay, cool. I've been doing some League of Legends stuff recently for Wind and Rain Rivals, which has been really fun. Unfortunately, you don't have stuff going on tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening. And I have to do University Siege League the day after, so I'm busy. University Siege League? More like University Bad Game League. Got him good. Sorry, people are asking me things everywhere, you know. I'm big popular boy. Yeah, that's why I had to keep uh, tapping out. Uh, I was yeah, 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 whatever you say, mate, whatever you say. <laughs> Making Fuck up off. this old crap that you say and you're popular. Yeah, mate, get on my level, mate mate. mate. mate, did you come back and have 10 plus Discord notifications? Mate, literally, it doesn't show you the right number. Yeah, that happens to me for me regularly. Yeah, sure it does. Maybe because you don't mute every server you're in. No, I don't actually. I mean, you should, honestly. It's a nightmare. How many servers are you in? A lot. <laughs> I'm in a lot as well. I like it. I want to get rid of them, but it's like, either it's a, a friend's server, name. or they're useful. Yeah. So I'm like, what is Christian Discord? Oh, that's Fenn's Discord. I'm like in a, load of Sma a couple of Smash Discords, a load of League and Scrum Finder and Casting Discord. I'm, I'm not in a huge number, but I'm in a fair... More than like 30. Yeah, not more than 30. Okay, alright, fine. You're not, you're not quite on my level. Ow. You're not like Dylan and Shimon, who are both in max servers and have to leave one every time they want to join a new one. I don't have a cam, actually, for this stream, so keep that in mind, fellas. Um, because I I, 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 my cam is, like, right below me, but I can't be asked to set it up. <laughs> well, why would why would you use a cam? Because normally when I stream a cam on this channel, I'm required a cam. It's so normally when you play like, your own games, though, not like spec games. Yeah, I guess you true. I guess that's true as well. I'm just getting excuses before Angela shouts at me because she's meanie. She beats yeah. me up. I really can't turn it up anymore. I guess I could move my mic closer to me, um, like this. Is that better? Goes with a bit of fe weird blah, blah, feedback then. That's because I hit it on the hit the um, mic on. I can wait. So how loud am I? Oh wow, I'm maxing out everywhere. Is that good? Is that better? Guys, can you speak, please? Yeah, hello. All right, that's about the right same level. That should be. I'm just glad Angela didn't uh, get mad at me for saying uh, saying that she beats me, because then she'd beat me again. Okay, Ollie. No. At least I have Jamie to keep me in company. 
Are you Highland or are you in game? Are you, are you in the team? No, I'm in the team. Are you Highland? Yeah. Are you just a random friend? account. Highland 90. It's just a random account that I'm using so I can spectate the game because playing League Lol. A mega lol. So you, you I've been playing Sejuani mid. I play the game occasionally. Do. I mean, Jamie. No. Rib. Dude, I've been but playing. A, I've been playing Sejuani mid. It's the best. Fam, do you do you really shouldn't look at what I play? I mean, I'm a support name, but I'm also like I play. I I I abused AP Maokai support for like for the for the patch. It was good. Uh, AP I'm what? Sorry. Oh, do you know where the Maokai rework came through? Sapling yeah, and you just blew out. people because you just yeah, put it in the I, I played that a lot of that. I had some sort. I had a guy, Elisa, jump on me, <laughs> followed his queue into a bush. Three saplings went off because I'd been baiting him, and he died instantly. We got back. That was basically what happened every fucking game when that came out for the first yeah, time. The, jung the jungler would just constantly die. It was disgusting. I just no. Like, it was actually just stupid. And you, you, you was really going to use Blitzcrank or anything that wants you to use the brush to like get a cool angle or something because they just couldn't go in there. So you just got to look at them the whole time. And go, mm -hmm. Cool. You are. Jamie, you'll appreciate my clan tag. What? Oh. Caprese boys. Nice. You've seen the best anime in the world. Yeah. That is by the one, by the way, uh, Connor, the Jaden Smith one. Wait, an anime by Jaden Smith. Yeah, and it has Steve Buscemi and uh, Jude Law in it. I need to watch. The, I need to watch my Happy Place gif. I'm gonna show you my Happy Place, by the way. Okay, that's nice. I need to turn on my uh, air conditioning because it's really warm. It's actually unbearable. Whew. It needs the audio oh, to make need, it happen. Uh, yeah. Oh, that one. Why are we singing it? Why is everyone talking about my Why are you talking about my back Good luck in esports boys, we are going into draft, but we're not allowed to talk about it, and that kind of tilts me, so we'll talk about it after everyone's ready, because you know, actually it's a major part of League of Legends to talk about, uh, and they're just being but, uh, what? because it's online. Yeah, no, 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 I know why, I know why. Yeah, uh, we, could, we, can have, we can have stream delay, but I can't mess to set that up, and also, um, Newell wouldn't like it, so, and as a part of Newell, right. I appreciate oh. Newell. Well, what we are doing is we are... Uh, uh, oh, that ban is sensible, that ban is a bit weird. Hang on, before we before we really go into the dip, picks and bans, because we'll discuss those at the end. To answer what Angela, what we're doing, I've been told about a Jaden Smith anime that has Steve Buscemi in it, and I'm in my happy place now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's I actually so bad, it's good. You don't understand. Right. It's actually, as you I, as like Newcastle, really Newcastle making a good choice by banning Mercy. They really do not want that res to go off. Uh, Dude, I'd hate <laughs> it if the Mercy was in the game. <laughs> oh, next thing they're gonna ban Lone Star. <laughs> what? That's a game reference that I hope someone would get. I get it, but it's like also bad. Yeah, Lone Star bad. Oh my god, that Dante pick is. Uh... To be honest, I'm a really big fan of the way that these guys play uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, speaking of which, I can now actually make bad jokes about wrestling and video games. <laughs> Thanks for the tangent. Shut me up. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you, Davis. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You don't have anyone who'll get your jokes. I mean, my images are just jokes by themselves, usually. That's why I got to put all my gifts on the, on the stream and no one really gave a sod. <laughs> right. I love how uh, the pick that just came through is a flex pick and it makes me happy. It doesn't make me happy, it makes me disgusted, but it is a flex pick. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I mean... that's like half the meta right now. That shouldn't be a flex pick, but it is. Diva is a pretty good character. I'll, 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 
It's happening. I said something in chat earlier and they might be picking it. I think they're hovering it for you, by the way. <laughs> they are, they were 100% teasing you. They know me. They know me well. It was Sejuani, by the way, and they didn't pick it. That's not a massive let-off. So, no one's going to be what playing Sejuani with you. Yeah. What do you think are all the uh, shitty isekai anime coming out this season? For God's sake. Um, no anime. <laughs> hey, they're, they're shitty. Yeah. Like I was seeing one side pick some champions and the other side also pick some champions. They might also ban some champions sometimes. It's possible. They have already banned some, uh, but they're looking towards banning a couple in just a second as we have our sixth pick of the game coming up here from Danny Hod. And I have no idea what they're going to pick. Oh, they're going to pick that. That is fantastic. Wow, that. Oh, that what? What? Hard. What? Why is that there? Why is that in the game? Sedge mid one trick, me IRL. Thanks, Cheesy Jeeves. It's one hell of a name, mate. Cheese Jeeves, do you want me to outdo you in bits so you feel like a, a little bit of a beta? No, I can't be asked. A beta. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I, I see you with your one bit and I'll raise you two bits. Could, why can't you pick for real? It's actually a good pick in the mid lane. You don't even understand, dude. It's actually a really good pick. It's actually, like, you, you have to know how to play it, obviously, but it's a good mid lane pick. It's not throwing at all. You guys played in LCS and like I play it and it's really good. You just have to have aggressive jungle or something. This is this is. It's not hard. Trust me. Uh, this is this is also I uh, I I also would like to say, playing proper Sidwani might be better. No no no, it's best in mid lane right now. I'm not even kidding. No actually no sorry it's as good in mid lane as it is in jungle. Some interesting bands coming out here actually. Really respecting the uh, X role of that team. Yeah, I'm surprised this team they're playing has lost their second game though. Really? Because looking at their ranks, they're all diamond. Yeah, no, but but like, that, I, you have to yeah I'm bronze and I could game. probably uh, finish games better than these cooks. You, ah, ah, no, no. I'm, I'm bronze because I was messing around with flex Q. Ah, th th that's what you say. Here's what I say, you're right. And how true is it, really? Pretty true. Yeah. I think, I think there's a little bit more than I we played Maokai um, Mau Sai on bot lane, which is brilliant. I like the Korean pick that just came out. Yeah, Diva is pretty good. Yes. Me too, thank you. I'm really looking forward to this person bringing a pick out. Yeah, they, they, are, they are indeed going to pick some sort of champion. Honestly, I'd be looking at the Ana for that uh, heal grenade stopping the transcendence. But, uh... I'm not Ooh, that that. a... That's exciting because of the last two picks, actually. Yeah, this is looking like a really cool Oh, pick. and what? we go back to lobby. You see. Understood proxy picks. <laughs> Did they ban it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, we could check the stream. Too bad. <coughs> yeah, we can't. Do you like the picture that's currently on stream? Yeah, well, that's a pretty cool picture. What is, what, uh, okay. okay, do you know what a no, do you know what a banner is, Angela? I know you know a lot about bans, but banners. Do you know what a banner is? It's a Newell branded banner. Do you want one? Because I can get us one for refreshers. Freshers. I can't because I've not actually got the picturing up. That's not how. It's like I can't. I can't go back and watch it. Um... So, that's what that's what I'm offering you. To be honest, I like the first ban. It was a good ban. I appreciate that ban. It's a good ban. Probably I haven't seen it. Like it makes sense. It's what, what they're offering. It's free promotion stuff. 
I, I think so. That's what I can tell. I haven't. I'll actually ask Tash. So give me. I'll get. I'll chase that up after this. If you want, we can get one. If we want one, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, he is asking. Do you want one? Do, do, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, tell me what you want. What you really, really want? I want. I want. I want. I want. I want. I really, really want one. Want a zigzag? Ah. Oh, I think this might not be a rerun draft. I think this might not be the This is draft. not a rerun draft because that was banned in second phase. Okay, then I thought they were rerunning draft. I think this might end up getting uh, dodge drafted and redone uh, if we're not rerunning. I thought we had to rerun. I don't think they banned Udo on the first run through as well. Okay, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think they're letting this. I think this might be timing out. I think yeah. mistakes are. No? Oh, no, no, oh no. I mean, already you got through the draft, so, uh, oh. <laughs> that, I think there was a mistake. That'll be a dodge. Oh. A this is going well. I thought I was banning. <laughs> this is going so very, very well. Can you... <laughs> I love I love UK esports. UK esports has had a great great weekend. I actually need to check the score for um, CS uh, and see how ESL Cologne goes. Well, shit, I just spent thirty five thirty four quid. I don't know. Um. Send me a message back saying, mm. "Oh my god, did it actually just happen again?" This is the classic. Anyway, I'm checking the CS:GO score. Big loss to Navi, three-one. Sad times. There's a close series though, from what I can tell. That's kind of sad. I wanted UK CS to be good. If it was only for one second, I wanted CS to come home. Right, the side here. Fifth pick in Nivea. Yeet that. Angela? Why, 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 why are you asking so many questions to me? You know I don't... Uh, <laughs> that kind of banner. Yes. Um, you know I don't know. You know I know what is nothing. The length of its in what is the length of its inseam? I have no idea. I actually have zero idea what that means means because like i understood every other question that i've been asked and that just makes no sense to me right this i'm gonna have to bring up the meme aren't i angela you know me you know i'm useless angela you can't you don't you have no power over me you don't know my middle name wow someone actually worked out the length of mario's inseam didn't they work out luigi's dick size as well yeah it's huge Take me Luigi. I, I actually was really allowed my parents might come up and ask me what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's this. It, it is a. It's a brilliant meme. I can't see it because I have ad block and I can't be asked to have ad block. Right, while we're waiting, I'm going to put yeah. spinning seal back on. Yeah, it'll, you, you put the spinning seal on, yeah. I'm a fake gamer boy, I'm, apologies fellas. I only talk about games, I don't know shit about them. But you know, out of the knowledge that I have, I know that the picks that have currently been picked, some of them are weird, and some of them are meta. And some of them are just plain okay. No, I'm not up to date. I watched like three episodes and then I stopped watching and the film was toxic so I couldn't be asked to really finish it. I haven't finished Megalobox either. I want to actually finish that. And like Darling yeah, and the Franks, because Darling and the Franks is not as good as it seemed at first. Megalobox was good until the last episode. Darling and the Franks is just garbage. Ah, uh, the first episode was alright. And there's some cool like fights. It was no. It, Explain the matter okay, to you. Okay. Basically, um, ADCs are now bad, apart from a couple of them, and now 
Now, you basically play anything in the bot lane, and you can play anything in mid lane, you can play anything in the jungle, but you can't play anything in the top lane, no. You can only play tanks and a couple of uh, select um, damage shields. I know, quite a lot of damage characters, actually. Oh, you, oh and Heimerdinger's meta. Heimerdinger is actually meta. Heimerdinger is meta bot lane. And really He's strong. strong, alongside okay. um, Fiddlesticks, which, if I ever saw that queued into me, I would instant tilt on the spot. I would... Okay, K Katie, I know you can call it good for like the first maybe like like 10, 15 episodes, it's good again, but like the last 10 episodes of Darling the Franks have just been straight unwatchable. I garbage. don't understand any of this besides the meta talk. <laughs> I'm here to talk about the video game that I'm here to cast. <laughs> this isn't video games, this is an anime Katie, game. by the way, your name is part of my favourite team, and the best team in the world currently. So, uh... <laughs> I'm just Stop. being added in the Discord, like... Do you mean, sorry, do you mean Royal Never Give Up? Fight me! <laughs> More like Royal Never Win Game. <laughs> I just got yeah. back from a date, yeah. I went out with a, a nice girl. She's very nice. Uh, we had pizza and we thought we saw Jurassic World, um, A Lost Kingdom. Uh, we can also now talk about the picks, because we're in game. Well, they're in game. Um... So, I'm actually going to see if I can set it up so they can actually see the picks. Um, game capture, choose any full screen app for location. No, specific window. Uh, lead client. Oh no. Oh, I might be bugging out. I might have to change things in a second. Bad choice. It was. Uh, I'm. You don't know her! I don't know what you're asking, Angela. With a human! Yes, with a human! Anyway, um, so we have on one side Shen, Trundle, Zoe, Ezreal, Braum. Pretty standard picks, none of them are especially weird. Interesting to see the Shen coming in, it's a very Korean pick, and it depends Shen on different teams. Top lane, not support. And um, not that's not massively the weird. Also, Braum's not in the jungle. You know, a mega lol. Uh, but then we've got an even more meta, except for one thing, Aatrox in the top lane, Zen in the mid, which is also kind of not meta, but works here, definitely. Uh, Draven, Thresh, yeah, all fairly done. And then Zach, who I actually don't think was that good right now. I don't think he's very good. Uh, also, Aatrox, you have to be a good player to play him. Uh, and I'm interested to see whether we'll see Danny Hood actually, uh, sorry, uh, whether we'll see Ida Noom, um actually manage to make it work. Because it is a little I, bit of an awkward pick at times. Well, I, I did just see it absolutely devastate. Um, Newcastle. <laughs> yeah. So, this sorry, game before this. Oh, oh my god. I mean, to be fair, no one has any practice in it, honestly. In the last, in the new, in the last game, Aatrox just smashed. Yeah, Atted everywhere. Yeah, he is strong. You just have to know how to play him. Like you'll see, what he, one team he'll be disgusting, and then another team he'll just be like irrelevant because the people just don't know how to play him. Is it someone I met at work? I wish um, that it was someone esports, but she's very nice anyway. Um, she has a really nice smile, um, and she's really bad at directions. And I met her at a party I mean... once. I mean, aren't most of this chat really bad at directions? Probably. Looking at all of you. I mean, I'm actually not too bad. No, no, I don't mean you. I mean everyone in there, everyone in the Twitch <laughs> chat. I just don't don't chat anywhere, members. so you can't be bad at directions if you don't move. I mean, you can. You can just not show it. You don't have the symptoms of being dead. But sorry. Invite her to watch you. She doesn't care about video games. That's the thing. Like, she's lovely. But if there's one thing that uh, could be an issue between us is that uh, there could be a lack of things to talk about. But so far, it's not been a problem. We'll see. Anyway, we are getting into I game! I just seen something I can't read out loud because someone sent me a, um, something r slash bad female anatomy if anyone's ever heard of that. Oh no, words. that sounds really bad. Yeah, well, yeah, bad not yeah Connor, Connor, yeah, by the way, um, Angela just yeah. pointed out that you spoke over me, and as a result, uh, you're gonna have to leave the call, and you will not be able to be part of any of this anymore. I thought I was the lead stream, and so no, you um, just no, because my I'm stream. here. No, no, you invaded my stream. I'm allowing I you. Here. I don't care. I don't care what you say. Well, right, as you can see, we are now going into the video game. Uh, on the side of Newcastle, we have Ninja Man, uh, weird troll, small child. Uh, they can actually see what's on the stream, what's in the game right now, because I just put it up uh, on the stream. Hanzo ripoff, and then we got Reinhardt ripoff. Hanzo ripoff. <laughs> no, it's it's not Hanzo ripoff at all. It's like Magic uh, Hanzo. No, I was gonna say uh, <laughs> who's Magic Hanzo. I was gonna say Magic Hanzo. Where? Uh, Ezreal. Ezreal. Uh, what? More like. More like. What? He's got a bow and arrow. Right. Well, what do you need? Stereotypes. Um, 
Rusties. <laughs> Rusties. I have no oh, idea what no, you just said. Powerhouse. Connor, no. Is he making wrestling references again that no one gets? No, 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 wrestling is irrelevant. Wrestling. It's a type of wrestling, not the same. Is it, is it Gachi? Though. No. Is it like Gachi? These are, these are all places that are bars in Newcastle associated with a certain community. Ah. Uh, and there are, it's been heavy implied. Rock concerts. Yes, we'll go with that. He is a rock. Yeah. He, is, he, he likes K pop, actually. He likes K pop. <laughs> Magic Hanzo and what would you describe Zoe as in Overwatch characters? Hanzo Scatter Arrow embodied. <laughs> Scatter Arrow embodied. How would I describe Magic Hanzo? Uh, Varus. Yeah, that would actually be true. <laughs> we have an no, Varus isn't Magic Hanzo. Varus is Edgy Hanzo. I mean, implications. <laughs> implications. Hanzo isn't Edgy. Also Tell you what, I'm getting all hot and sweaty over seeing Dragon Slayer. Edgy Hanzo. Did you also, know that Yellow Ezreal's Jacket Shen Zal. screams, get over here? Also, Ezreal's ult is kind of like Dragon Strike, so yeah, he's scuffed Hanzo. Scuffed Hanzo? <laughs> Man, I love League of Legends with my scuffed Hanzo. Can't even shoot into a grab. Oh, uh, I might have to um, restart my game quickly, because... Um... Oh, no, 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 it's working now. <coughs> oh, don't, don't, don't forget to put the scoreboard off if you don't mind. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. I'm just, uh, I was waiting for people to actually load in first. Uh, I'm just gonna auto follow because I can't be asked to um, actually yep. control the camera. No, we did that, but I kept accidentally turning that off by. Uh, yeah, just don't touch your camera. Tab. Yeah, no, no. The problem is every time I alt tabbed, it would. Uh... I've got a second screen because I'm not an idiot. No, no, I did. I did it on my second monitor, but it would nab. Shen is ta Shen is buff Genji, and Zed is um, top 500 Genji. Shen Shen is thick and edgy at Genji. He's not edgy. He's cool. I miss the old Shen. And uh, uh, as, okay, on on uh, the, the side of I don't know whichever university this is, Birmingham. They also got uh, I don't know. It's big Birmingham. Headman, scuffed Roadhog. Who uh, scuffed Roadhog? <laughs> thrash. Thrash. That's thrash. Also, did you order their team just to, um, for the help of this, the viewers actually? Because we didn't do that last time. Yeah, cheers. We should have done that before. What are you saying? It's not going to be um, Draven Man. Could be. A, could you, no. No, we know what the lane assignments are. For we don't. Once. We do for what? You could have. I mean, you say that, and then you watch a um, We're not RNG game. That. And they put everyone. They put the ADC in the mid lane every game. Yeah, that's called be feeding Uzi the farm. That's you know, you know, you know, you know what would you know who would be able to defeat that? Do you, can you guess which team? Which team? Which team which would be able to? <laughs> Sorry, that was a really loud clap. <laughs> Uh, we do actually see them starting blue, which is, you know, pretty sensible for Zach. You want to be able to get a lot of that cooldown, then you can get a lot of health back. Uh, expect to see kind of a spike for the Zed uh, on going... Oh, we actually see a bit of an early trade coming up from the Aatrox onto Rotom. Idenum getting some early trades in, a little bit coming back. Nice use of Grasp there to actually gain him a little bit of advantage. As we actually move back to the bot lane, we actually have a pretty standard comp here in the bot lane, don't we? I thought people else other were going to talk about that. We do see some trading still going on top lane. As I was trying to say, we're looking for action in the mid lane at around level 3 because Zed wants to try and do something there if he can, if he hits level 3 first. Otherwise, we're looking for level 6 when Zed gets his ultimate. Then he can really start to deal with the Zoe pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the Zed matchup for Zoe yeah. is really, Sorry. really hard. Oh, nice. That is going to be the Ezreal going down. And that going over to the Draven is huge, honestly, because yeah. the Draven just does such a yeah, so phenomenal amount of damage when he gets ahead. The Draven passive, uh, League of Draven, which is the best name of passive ever, uh, allows him to gain extra gold on kills. He creates a bounty every time he catches one of his axes, just a little mark on the floor, uh, or he kills a minion. And then there's an expended on kill to gain some bonus gold, minimum of 50, and then all of his stats. Maybe he loses half his stats in death, so he has to keep getting killed without dying. Mm -hmm. uh, You're by the way, for playing the game really well. Nerd Wado is not a good League of Legends player, so that's why he's not here. Uh, people are asking about where Nerd Wado dash is. Because uh, he sucks. There, there is the, so right now the fact that Ezreal is losing is actually a real big issue for Newcastle because generally you can play pretty safe with this Ezreal and really deal with the issue pretty well by just not dying. And then you can move to the late game and you definitely outplay, you can definitely outplay this Draven. 
So something yeah. to keep in mind is that it's just Dra if this Draven starts rolling and we have the Zack uh, perform a lot of ganks, while he is generally looking more mid that's some, not another trade coming through. Actually trying to turn this. Val Raven going aggressive here, but that is... Oh, that's a really nice pillar coming out from Sheep Lee Cow and Benny Thick. Out of the Zoe's well coming here just to make sure they definitely got to it. And that is, oh, they're trying to leave it. I don't think they're actually going to get it because they just leave it. They get it anyway. Sheep Lee Cow does walk under, drops that Q, but Cheesy Jeeves is under a lot of pressure here in the mid lane. And Q Box is going to dive right on a nice ignite. Cheesy Jeeves, let's see, gets something yeah. special, is going to go down here. And that well, will we've be. Got a little bit, well, I've got a moment to discuss the, when we're on the Zoe match. The, uh,. The one with the Zoe has is the turning mobility to avoid the Z damage. It's predictable, so he'll always go back to the same place. So Z just needs to put one of his shadows right next to there, wait for it to go back, and then throw all of his abilities back there if he's worried about going and following her anywhere. And he's got she's got two her main damage comes from two skill shots, and they're two line skill shots. So as long as he's playing properly, he's got to avoid it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Video games. I, I feel like the problem that we have in the competition, the new cast player is. They're playing a poke competition, and I think I actually going to say this now. I think the Zap pick might actually be a really good idea. This long initiation range and the assassin that can just pick off the two. Oh no, another stack. That is that is so that bad is inside of Newcastle. And Rotom is also first four start top. They're putting so much pressure all across the map with that early kill coming out onto the Zoe. Newcastle yeah, are really going to feel it. This, this is looking cool. Not looking great. Um, we have seen CS advantages of 10 in the top lane uh, at 5 minutes. That's not looking good for Rotom. He needs to look at this 8 man, le sorry, level 6 mark uh, to try and make a play. Perhaps in bottom lane, perhaps in mid lane or with the jungler. And really push the advantage which you get on the map from his ultimate. Otherwise, being so far behind the CS is just going to be so detrimental for him. He's taking a lot of damage, he needs to be very careful. That is a nice flash coming up from Cheesy Jeeves. But Q will just kind of force nothing, everything out. And will actually be aggressed onto really nice play from Sheeply Cap. And that is going to be it. Really nice gank to prevent any kills coming out. And in fact, return the kill. Yeah, that's a really good turn, especially for the fact that they got to waste essentially the, the 6 over 5 power spike instead against Zoe. That's an insanely and good time. Stuff, time like, stuff like that is essential for Newcastle right now, to stem the bleeding that they're... Yeah. Before exactly. that, they're basically hemorrhaging across the map, so it's really yeah. good to get something back. Exactly. The, the <laughs> fact that, as well, they've got... All is not unbe unreachable yet. Oh, also that World Ender was poor. The world didn't pop to the top lane to go into the tower, but then just not used properly at all. Like, missed all of his Qs, missed his baby cage, and just ends up wasting the super long cooldown the world ender. I'm surprised because I expected him to go under. Perhaps he was respecting yeah. uh, the taunt and uh, Q, QW yeah, coming out from the Shen. He definitely was purging the dodge zone, definitely respecting the taunt. Uh, I think he was also expecting he could flash away from the final. The, mm. the, uh, Rotom has done a good job in not using any of his, uh, like, abilities See, like his resources learn about that i think i think the reason he probably i think it was also a misplay of that he was worried that he might not he also might if he didn't kill him fast enough within the 12 seconds uh just not get five oh i think that's why you want to try and activate it a little bit slower. lower yeah the draven damage is a little bit out of hand already he has a bf sword already and yeah. sorry i'm just gonna get myself a second yeah um yeah it's a bf it's a bf sword and the long sword to mana. Oh no! And oh, no. That, there's, there's no combat stats on the on the bottom lane. Sorry about that, just had to organize something with my dad as we do see players coming all around the map and in fact some early vision going into the enemy jungle for the side of Birmingham. So definitely them to look to try and take control of this game here. Honestly, like, if I, if I was in this game right now, I'd just be scared shit so that great the damage coming yeah. from him is just obscene. It is a bit uh, silly, especially, as I said, with that BF sword, because this 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 Ezreal has, like, nothing, because he spent his money on that tier, which is, you know, the build he has to do, but it's just a bit weird. That's a really nice play from Rotten to actually escape there, and Danny Hood doesn't find any follow-up, so they managed to deal with that gank and waste a bit of his time, which is the major part of this. You 
do see some just farming coming out from the Jave and he wants to get the stacks. Rotom is under a bit of pressure again and yeah. you have to be careful because we do see that Zack coming on in. That's a lot of pressure coming on in there. They're looking for the opportunity. He does drop the dodge zone, but no proper dive coming out. We do actually see a nice dive on in and Danny will get out alive and a really nice kill coming from out Aiden. That com combo, honestly, I, it, even if, if I think Zack's a little bit weak in the early game right now as a champion, but mm. otherwise I think that's a really good combo. Both of them having a really good revive. And the fact that Will then uh, came with back for that die, it means that either of you can take aggro. One of you dies, you revive. The other two tanks until they're dead, they revive. You get so much lifeline. And then, and here's what they, what they wanted in from, from There we go. Oh, he's gonna lose the stacks. Oh, down, 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 down. That's really unfortunate and, for. And, um, you the, and you get the Trundle torpedoes. I, that is bad. Oh, that. Nice. And a lovely double kill for the Ezreal as well, coming right back into the game. That was a beautiful four-man gank bot. But also really unfortunate for V-Man. He just yeah. misses his skill shot onto the Wally. And as a result, misses out on the kill. Doesn't cash in his stacks. And loses out on a massive amount of gold here. So actually, we start to see Val Raven yeah. catching up in terms and of gold. They've realized, they realized as well that, that they've got four men bars. So they're just trying to push as hard as they can to get first blood out. And honestly, that's definitely the well, like, re uh, response to the first blood out. That's definitely the right call. Like, the Wally Death is not going to properly clear it out. They can just afford to tank it for the last few minutes. And there we go. Tower Still, still a gold lead from the Draven Pass, though. If you're willing to toggle gold for the stream, Molly, just want to show them how much Draven gold you get from that pass. I don't know how you do that, actually, because uh, I don't you do that. Toggle gold, I think there is. I think oh, there's a hot to toggle gold. I'll find out what it is. Are they going to put this onto Draven? I think they might get it. Yeah, yeah. Really Rotom being very aggressive, though, takes a lot of damage. And that Draven can just get absolutely. Oh, the beautiful hook from Benny Thick Deck, and he's going to take him out. Luckily, I don't know. I don't know. Luckily, the Zack finished him off, though, so. Yeah. I mean, it's not even bad, because if you can start to build those tanky stats, they can look for more and more dives. This is going to yeah. be bad for Cheesy Jeeves. Luckily, no follow-up coming out from Q to try and kill him off. They're actually looking for this mid-tower, some aggressive plays, and they're starting to try and collect the standing gold on the map. Yep, it's just really the two really powerful AD champions just collapsing, and the Pope just can't really land through their mobility. And the baby cage is on, but just thankfully the baby cage... Really, it's really easy for Zoe to get out of. She can just go off the side and pass it and then pop right back where she wants to be with the baby cage like, without having to leave the baby cage properly. One thing I've noticed in every single Newell game so far, I don't think we've actually seen a game where both sides didn't just play standard AD carries. It'll be interesting to see if we uh, find a team who actually tries to break that mold uh, and plays the more standard meta right now. I'd definitely be excited to see how people bring it up and uh, whether people are just better at playing that. This is oh my god, Benny thick dick. He can yeah. take me any day. That was a really nice predict hook, and this just means more stuff on the map for UOB. See nice engage coming up from Danny Hood. This is looking good for them. He can but find the opportunity to gauge. Do man getting poked off though by the really nice play from uh, that Jesus? Honestly, on that, that prediction was so good. I thought it was like a visual bug or something. Like Jesus Christ. Nah, no visual bug on that. That was just really clean play. I could do that. I'm rubbish at thresh. That was just be a Nautilus, then we're right. Uh, I think now we're going to start to see them put some pressure towards the mid as we actually see the ADC rotate on in there. Especially since V-Man has a lot of damage. You can start to pressure that tower down and with this two people in mid lane, he really can get away with it. Like, they're, they're just chipping through this tower. You need to be careful because there is some jungle ganks coming through. But they're just trying to take objectives all over the place. That is Val Raven dead yet again. Oh no! Oh he no, he does die. Yeah. Oh no, it's Qbox. Qbox. Qbox has to die. Yeah, you've got you have to fight for the auto, but change your flash for the 450 shutdown gold, you, and you get the assist gold onto the Ezreal. Well. You, know, you both get value for the flash. To be that's honest, level, that's fine. Oh, that's a level 8 eight truck. Those level. The level yeah. eight trucks are level eight. Thing. And the Zax here. That really good dodge, but oh, gets pulled back in off the green. Oh, that is painful. Go. That's a really nice from Danny Hood. Out now. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, unless he gets oh, a no. nice dash away with no, his... No, 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 I was going to say, well, then does that, yeah. well, then does that, if it, even if this goes wrong, he's not the Aatrox as well, then because of lol Aatrox. <laughs> he is pretty stupid right now. The double Aatrox bring you the double A picks right now. Oh, and then he's channeling the Rift Elf. Oh, bubble action is a few inches of pain, and that would have been interrupted the channel, but, oh, he's actually tanking it now. <laughs> but I don't think it matters, but you can use the Rift Herald. Aatrox can walk in and easily fish up. Oh, and Benny with another great hook, and that's just another free kill for me, man. 
Yeah, he's been really impressive on that. Cheaply Cow will go down and they're put even more pressure on that mid tower. It's going to go down and alongside this top tower. tower. The top tower's probably going to get Oh, and he's going to get the, the kidnap as well onto the Zoe. That's beautiful. But the Shen is with a nice TP. Try and, oh, and sort things out. Pray as well. They think that they, they, they are going to get the. They are going to get the. Oh, no, they're not going to get it. That's a beautiful, beautiful. Fox uh, will then just give him more health than he had when he died. Oh, that's just unlucky. The so red buff no. giving him more health back when he died to world and got his world ender. Get a full another, blood well. Another stellar play from Benjamin Thick Penis. <laughs> 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 But no, this is this is hard about because so right. I I I and to use a a cast the quorum. Uh, Ollie. Yeah. Oh, what do you think the comeback plays? Oh, but you can't see the university currently. Definitely I mean, playing around their strength. If they can find these long poke engages, as you said, uh, it's pretty good. Using the Zoe and the Ezreal to break people out. Or perhaps getting onto one of these major tanks, catching them out, using uh, superior vision, which they don't really have, but they need to start building, in their at yeah, least in their I own jungle, the, to get the support the hasn't even finished yet for the, yeah. uh, That's the a bomb. Bit. That's really, really sad. It's... I, I um, doesn't, unless it's a visual bug, uh, but because it's... But it doesn't look like it to me that it's finished, and that's that's just not good luck. Um, the as well, I, the Trundles had to go damage as well just to provide for the team because they are ahead. They want a few moves are ahead, which means they can't get to the Zeeks to uh, power that Ezreal sooner, which you could really do right now because they're one of the other strong members. Mm -hmm. The it, I mean the Zeeks isn't as impactful as. Perhaps looking towards finishing this uh, Mana Muna uh, and putting I, it to Mana I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think the Mana Muna tries for a spike, but then once you add that, you can really get some proper skirmishing mm -hmm. power that might even give you some Banshee of Draven, just because the Zack's stats are so valuable that you can just probably actually even take some time in front of Mackie to survive in front of him. And there's a nice GP control, but well, not a very long reach panel star follow up, sadly, so it doesn't really poke too hard. And to be honest. Kind of he has a decent amount of health that he can start to deal with some of that stuff. Rotom, yeah. however, cannot deal with that Aatrox in the top lane. Yeah, He's just so Aatrox. far down. And the passive as well is affected by the Death Ring Stamp. The Death Ring Stamp quick point percent of all healing and shielding. Uh, so this is... I actually worry this might go to a 2v1. World Ender's active. Uh, and, oh, yeah, that's just Cheesy G's being chased down and World in Death Ring Oh, beautiful! Not watch though, but... Yeah, he's dead right now. A, a, a picture perfect. Yeah, there comes the world ender resurrecting the Aatrox. Uh, will he be able to make a turn around though? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gabe. Oh. Let me know, because I'm actually yeah. so, in the oh. oh, it's a beautiful oh. pillar. Oh, no, but Danny Hood dives right on in and will catch Sheeply Cow. Sheeply Cow oh. won't quite survive. That's really unfortunate. He did almost have Aiden Moon. Yeah. And he doesn't even escape. That's really quite crushing. Now we want to see UOB actually look towards this mid tower now that they've got a couple of these picks. Sorry, at least taking out Shibli Cow. Or maybe looking to set up towards the next dragon coming up. What we want to see UOB do is uh, unplug the computers for it. <laughs> no, we can't use the cast we can't use the cast to top out. We have to actually get the really the real arrow. And the main I have okay. to now. What they need to what UOB need to do is just start running it down. Or try I mean that would be that would be <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, that would actually be. I, honestly, you say you say that if they just run it down mid, I think they'd still win. They like yeah. have such a good team fight in comparison because like no one's just got any any damage. Like the Zoe does very little in Zoran two. The Trundle actually, is like the only actually, terrifying yeah. member on that team. Honestly, uh, I would also say that oh, this off the world. The world is not up, but I don't think it matters. The passive, you look, uh, that's just a whiff, but it doesn't matter. It's not the big one. And the big one comes in point blank range and dead. Yeah, that's gonna be the center it. Of those, in the center of the, there's like a sweet spot each of those new Aatrox cues. And ooh, nice still with the uh, oh, good scholar, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Triple kidnap! Nice. 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 damage, and CC doesn't matter that he's slept. Oh, so, no, does it? It does matter, it does. Dreams actually been shut down. Yeah, but they, they for at what cost? They lost multiple players. Uh, well, oh, no, flash, no cost, actually. <laughs> they traded for the Zoe, and now they've given over that dragon, pretty much. Uh, there's not really any way that Newcastle I mean, can come back and take it. one for one right now for the Draven for the Zoe. Yeah, it's not too bad. You have to be willing to take that when you're this behind. 
you know, it's it's almost 10,000 gold. Zoe is worth far less than the Draven. She just made one So, the Draven's about to think it's halfway to his third. Um, Basically, just hope her. Uh, Danny Hood does what he did, but does what he did with a flash on a smite. Yeah, yeah. He's a Baron smite, honestly, yeah. But the game is Baron hasn't been spawned yet. Um, I mean, they will use Baron. I think Baron will definitely be the closing point for the game. Think, Once I they get Baron, they'll just walk it down mid and just. I'm gonna take my my the the day. I mean, uh, I like. I would rather those components be slightly different from the Brom. I would rather that be a Knight's Vow just for the Ezreal, because. Or even the trundle, just something to keep one of them alive a little bit longer. And that yeah. cooldown option on your win fight. You're ball. saying you don't want to see dead man's on Bron? It is definitely dead man's, yeah. Um, My man. I know. I, I, well, I understand the idea behind it. It is actually good for getting in for those for, for that first auto. But he I shouldn't be the engage, game. honestly. But he's, he's the only engage, that's yeah. the problem. No, he should be he's... disengaged. He should never be playing engage. Newcastle game. is so far behind at this point, they should probably put some meme shit like yeah. a Baron's well, it isn't even about life, but, um, that, well, yeah, it, 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 I can understand why, because you do have so weak engage, the problem is you have to do the fact to engage, but, uh, you know, it still gives some pressure to the right. Yeah, no, that's a really nice pick-up pick up as well. Really nice, really nice engage, it's just their damage is so low. So oh, low, maybe not low, uh, Benny's been half, but I don't think it's enough. The, the turnaround's in, yep, the, uh, the Zax, taking the CT chain, chain off, and then there's another cash in for the Draven. We six two and one six cash and two of them was so early in the game, and there's a point as an on the spot kid now to give the the Aatrox his fourth kill. Got black cleaver, so those thirty percent CDR right of items that just make it so broken, and that's actually the surrender. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for Newcastle because actually the Wally got a really nice follow up uh, with his yeah. ultimate uh, glacial just fissure. So far it just behind, so far behind they had no damage, and it was just yeah. so difficult. Like. The thing is, I want seen from Newcastle is perhaps to improve a little bit upon the lane phase because actually, when it came to team fights, they're doing quite well. They were yeah. struggling a little bit on vision, but they definitely have the makings of a team that can. Yeah, there's a, there's do a decently. lot. There's a lot of do, a lot of good, quite, good, good, uh, good things going on there. Definitely, especially the first game that there was really good snowballing, really good team play. Um, I think it's just it, it's it's practice together as well. I, I we did see the same comp pretty much three times today. Uh, I would ju I think I'd like to see more. But I'm sure that, you know, time together will happily create that. Mm -hmm. uh, just putting up a beautiful, blessed image on your screen. Uh, if you're wondering what it is, don't ask me. Oh, yes. Roman whipping people. <laughs> the, the, the sexy boy of League of Legends whipping people. Because he's also yeah. now a dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing. I know, right? It's just beautiful. Oh. Alright, I'm probably gonna... If we if we got another game tonight? No, that was the third game. No, okay, that was the last okay. one. Right, Sorry, I came so late. I'm gonna go to the other chat now. See you guys. All right. yeah, I'm gonna Fuck just you then. See you guys. Have I'll a lovely night, everyone. And uh, Have a lovely night. Uh, have a thank good, you. Have a good day as well tomorrow. Have That'll a be nice day. I hope you aren't being aren't in an inferno like Newcastle is. Yeah, it's a bad. See.